Hello everyone, it's Sandra here and we are looking in at Cinderella. So let me take off the paper and bring you right back. So today's challenge is something that I usually grind up and they are prawn shells. So let's just fluff up Cinderella first before I give her this feeding and see what's going on. Let me just find a spot to put our shrimp container. And I think what I'll do is I will just get some tissues. I also have some of this cotton that goes in the top of a supplement. So I'm gonna put that all under the container rather than try to put carbon in the container. So there you are, it's lidless now, but you see there are holes in the sides and bottom of this container. So it's just gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna put some food scraps in it to entice the worms into the area. So there we go. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Hi everyone, this is our first check-in on Cinderella after I fed those shrimp shells. And if you could see me, I am doubled over on my mobility scooter, um, reaching Cinderella on the ground. So I am just, this is a quick look at what the bin looked like. And then I am going to open it up because it's not gonna be pretty how I'm going to do this. So uh, I have to manage these bins from a mobility scooter and Cinderella because we're doing seed starting now everywhere and have used up all our little stools and shelving is on the floor. So just a moment. So my understanding is the shrimp shells are in this corner. So let me just open that up and remove that plastic tray. There's the haircut. If I can get down far enough, I am bending at my limit here. Okay, up with the tray. Let's take a look at what these shrimp shells have or have not done. How about if I just turn them right over? I can see worm interest on the top. Do I want to empty them out? I guess we want to see, don't we? I can refill the bait container. I'm not trying to get these worms out of here. I'm just trying to see, are they into the shrimp shells at all? I put food in there. So obviously the worms have gone in after the food. There's some of them right there. Okay. Shrimp shells themselves look intact. There they are. Oh no, are these shrimp or prawn? Somebody on the Gulf Coast tell me accurately. I never know. What is it? Size differentiation? I used to teach biology, I should know this. Or is it a different species? Anyway, there we go. I think I've almost got all the shrimp shells back in the bait container. Oh, that's a bit of avocado sneaking in. Don't need that, and I don't need my... Oh, look at that. Our road trip fork has broken. So that's cool. And I don't need this avocado pet in there. I just need those shrimp shells. What I'm going to do is I will sweeten the pot by adding some food on top. So the food I have today are some apple cores. Now, obviously this is far too much food for this little bait container. So I'll just give the bait container some more of this. I will put it back in its corner. If I can get it down there. There we go. So the bait container is back in its corner. I'm going to give Cinderella the rest of these apples over here. And then I'm just gonna pour this juice in that bait container. Take that last little bit of food, throw it in the bait container. There's eggshell powder on this as well. So this is just a ch quick check-in on the shrimp shells 
give Cinderella a bit of a feeding. So this is just a quick check-in on the prawn shells, and I'm just gonna empty them right here. Ooh, they're getting softer. You can hear it. They're, they used to be crunch, crunch, crunchy. So obviously the worms aren't going to eat this until the microbes attack it. And I think one of the signs that the microbes are attacking it is these shells are going to soften. And I'm certainly feeling that now that the shells are softening. So they're still here. It's been two weeks since I've put them in here, which is fine. See, I've got lots of microbial rich vermicompost around them. And those microbes will, in their own time, get into these prawn shells. And hopefully that means the worms will as well. I'm glad they're not um, just sitting here in a static way, really hard and and uh, crunchy still. Oh, there's the, the neighbors were in there. There they are. I think I've got all the prawn shells up. But yeah, there's likely to be, there's likely to be other life forms in here that I can't see uh, on this piece of brown paper. So let me just close up. Oh, there's a bit of hair. The Landon's haircut going in with the prawns. And I'll just uh, pat that down. Those guys are on the top now. They won't mind. Oh, and there's, see, there's another prawn shell. And another worm. Come on. There we go. Put you back in your little haven. And then I'll just invert this and just make sure that we've got, that's not a worm there, all the residents off of it. Hi everyone, this is a quick check on Cinderella. I have some really atypical things to see her today, as well as we want to check in on those shrimp shells. So this is the feeding zone and we can still see some active worms in there. That's great. I'll just put this cardboard here in case I dig too deep, but you know, it's more moist than I was expecting. I was expecting her to have dried out a bit. Oh, look at this. Our road trip fork is starting to bend. Yay. Okay, this is actually quite damp in here. Where are our shrimp shells? They must be in this other corner. Yes, I see the plastic. There they are. They're not looking pink anymore, are they? And they are damp. And where are they? I guess you can see little bits of them. Wow, they're basically gone. That's a little bit of the Starbucks liner. It's not from shrimp. It's a bit of the carbon. It's another Starbucks liner. Cup liner. Just uh, open toilet paper roll. A whole lot of worms in this feeding zone. Wow. So what did I learn from this experiment? Well, you can put your shrimp shells in your worm bin whole and the worms will take care of them in about three weeks, about the same time as a banana peel and less time than an avocado peel. Or like I'm doing here in this picture, you can put them in with your food processor scraps and grind them up just a little bit. This is gonna save me a lot of time not having to separate them out and grind them in a coffee grinder. The worms and my garden are going to love it.